Today we're going to take a look at VESA monitor mounts. While we still have access to the ASUS ProArt monitor, and I've also got a ViewSonic monitor up here. And what we want to look at are the similarities and the differences in how these monitors mount. For example, the ViewSonic that we use is a 22 inch, it's a flush mount. I have a quick release VESA mount on here, and for the ASUS, it's a recess mount. And because it's not flush, we have some different considerations we have to think about. So what we're going to be comparing are two different mounts, deciding which mount is most appropriate for which monitor. We're going to take a look at Nine Dot Solutions Visa mount versus a Tether Tools Rock Solid Visa mount. And it's really not one or the other, it's which one's better for which particular installation. Now a lot of the weight that's carried by the ASUS monitor is in that base or the stand. The rotation of the monitor to be vertical or horizontal is part of this base. And this piece of the mount that recesses, that fits in those tongues, handles the arm and handles the base. Okay, the distinction for that being, if I'm using this particular mount with this base, it's an either or. I can use this or I can use the Visa. When I put the Visa on, it's not a matter of putting a quick release plate on here so that I can change for this because this, this is locks in nice, but what I would need is a special plate to adapt to that, which is not what ASUS has. So I have to look at other options. For example, because if I want to use a quick release plate here, the reason for the quick release is to be able to quickly change from this to this. Whereas on this monitor, I can have this mount, which you can see sticks out very little. That sticks out maybe about a quarter of an inch. So this can go back in a box. I can put three of these in a case. This arm stays attached, and all I have to do is take this base off with one screw on the bottom. And I can use either or. So these monitors are versatile for what I do most of the time. However, this monitor, there are specific reasons for this monitor. Remember, this is about entry-level color correction and color grading. Now, if we were looking at, say, like an Atom OS Sumo monitor, 19 inch, then hopefully a flush mount visa where I could use a quick release would be a better solution. But for this ASUS, let me show you the mounts. Now this is the nine dot solutions. And I've taken the liberty for the nine dot solutions mount and I've already mounted a quick release plate to it because I want to show you how easy this is. This would be the thickness I'd be dealing with all the time. But this is the only thickness I have to deal with which is about a quarter of an inch. And the reason for that, if I need to sit this on the video cart, I can either set it on the base or I can take this base off, same type of setup, where I just undo one screw on the bottom to remove this base. And now I have the monitor on this arm, but if I want to use the visa mount, then I take this piece and you notice it's got a wedge to it where it locks in. Now this is metal. And I'll get into more of this quick release plate because I'm going to have to show you some stuff online. This particular brand of quick release plate that we've been using for now about five years uh, is out of stock. But there's another one Tether Tools has that looks exactly like it that will take its place because it's metal and has a metal tab. Now Ergotron also has one that looks similar, but this tab is plastic and that plastic concerns me. But to show you how easy this works, I just lock this in. It locks. And with this nine dot solutions, it's actually a two piece mount. And this allows me to mount to a stand. And one of the most versatile stands that we have, and I'll put up a link to all these parts, allows me to set this on a light stand so that now I can put that monitor anywhere. If you notice, the space right here is not an issue, but I do not have the ability to tilt this monitor. I cannot tilt it forward. I cannot tilt it backward. So there's another piece that goes with this that mounts from the rear that allows this to tilt up or down. So if, I, if I'm okay with this on a stand like it is, fine. But if I've got a reflection like you see here, I would need that other mount. That's two pieces. But that is a simple solution for this monitor. And that's what I like about it. Easy on, easy off. And this is the, uh, this is the part that sits on the stand. So I've got a mounting hole here in the bottom. That's where that sits on. 
And if I use the tilt adapter, the tilt adapter goes in this rear hole and allows this to tilt up and down. And then of course I can tighten it and I'm good. And again, this is Nine Dot Solutions with the quick release plate. The other I'm going to show you, and Nine Dot Solutions has a couple of different plates. This one is good for the Visa mount 75 by 75 and 100 by 100, as you can see here by the bolt pattern. And there's another plate. This is the regular size. They have one called large that'll do a 200 by 200. So they have both styles, and then of course they have the tilt adapter. I'll have links up to all these parts. But that's, that's a two-piece. One piece like this, no tilt, or with the tilt adapter, two pieces. And the third piece being the quick release. I like those. I use those a lot. Now, while we have access to this ASUS monitor before it has to go back to its home, if this were the monitor that I was using that I was going to hang on to, then I would have to decide, am I going to use the base that goes with that monitor, or am I going to use this quick release? And this quick release is from Tether Tools. And it also comes with the screws. This, this is a one-part mount. The nice thing about it, because it's all one piece, there's a little bit of an offset. So if you notice that offset, if I set this in this recess, it still clears right here but it sticks out this far. So instead of being in a box and sticking out like this other one, about a quarter to three eighths of an inch, this is gonna stick out about an inch and a half. On a larger monitor like this, that's not a problem. Now the other issue is the weight capacity. This Nine Dot Solutions is good for 33 pounds. The large version is good for 66 pounds. This quick release, 22 pounds. So that's the weakest link in the chain. Now this mount is good for 88 pounds. And 88 pounds, this monitor and this monitor, respectively. The ASUS ProArt monitor with the stand, the monitor, I believe this comes in at, uh, yeah, the weight, the weight on the ASUS monitor is 22 pounds. This monitor comes in, I believe, at 17 pounds. Now, I think probably about 10 pounds of weight, or 7 pounds, is right here. So if this is 7 pounds, the point of it is, if we were to use the quick release plate, which is only rated for 22 pounds, it'll work on either monitor. But with this by itself, if I do not have the option of being able to use both on this one, like on this one I can, I can use either or. I leave that, and I can still put the base to it. But with this one, because the way this mounts with this, this is the ideal mount for that monitor. And this device has tilt, and it has little detents, like little uh, ball bearings in there, so that it, it has a detente where it locks in. It's not just a uh, press fit. And it has the ability, because of the other holes on here, I can mount like a Noga arm, an articulating arm. That's more, more rigging. But I'm going to put up links to all these parts so you'll know there's, there's reasons for these. This is less expensive than this, but this is complete because it's got the two pieces. Now, Tether Tools has another one that we're using on the monitor that's in front of me now. I would show it to you, but it has a plate that mounts, but to have the ability to pivot like this does, there's a separate piece that goes to that. So it's two pieces. It's a two-piece mount, just like the Nine Dot Solutions is a two-piece mount. But this particular one from Tether Tools, which is the Tether Tools rock solid visa mount, and it fits on that 5 8 inch pin for a light stand. And I mean, when they say rock solid, they mean rock solid. Tether Tools makes a lot of gear for videographers, but they are specifically for photographers who want to set up a portable booth or any place, especially for content creators, where you need to set a monitor anywhere, anywhere at any height. You may have access to a table. You may not have access to a table. But what you'll have will be like a tripod with a monitor, with a camera, and you need some place to put a monitor. And you may have, or you may have a second monitor, or you may have the camera hooked up on this through an arm for a photo booth. So this is just one of many tools in our repertoire, and I wanted to show you how that works. Pretty ingenious. And though these have been around now for about five years that we've been using them. And I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to show you the two. You cannot say one is better than the other. It depends on your application. For example, like I said, if we had to reiterate a, uh, 
AdamOS Sumo monitor, which is like a client monitor that you have scopes on and also can do reverse colors. You would want to put it on a Visa mount so you can put it on a stand like I've got here in front of me, like this. And I'll put up a link to this stand. This is a, a two-piece. This happens to be a Kupo 40-inch Master C stand. They also come in 20-inch. And to give you some idea for space relations, I've also got this on a base. It's a wheelbase. It's extra, but it allows me to move it around. But this, at the lowest height, is 40 inches. So you get some idea the one that's 20 inches would be lower, lower than this table height in front of me. I've got one across that, uh, well, this is 40 inch, 20 inch, half that. It'd be below the table height. So you get the gist of that. But I can crank this up as high as I need to. So either mount I use, I can put a monitor anywhere I need it. Whether it's on the video cart, in fact, this is the plate, both pieces, that I use on the Dell monitor that we did a video on some time back. And it's a fairly large size monitor, but the weight of that monitor, this 22-pound load will accommodate it. However, with something like this uh, that's a bit more rugged, I would probably opt for a mount like this, the tether tools, on the uh, Atom OS Sumo monitor. It's a more expensive monitor, but it's a different it's a different grade of monitor. A lot of times I see people asking, well, how do you get a monitor mounted with a video camera? And the easy solution to that is, is you got to have some type of Visa mount where you can mount that either on the tripod stand or on the light stand right there next to it. And then you have your cable that goes HDMI to mini HDMI. And depending on the monitor you're using, either it's powered by AC 110 or it's powered off of batteries. And some of these mounts are made to have an offset where you can also attach another mount on the side for those kind of batteries, specifically like I mentioned about the Atom OS. Now I've seen two other quick releases. I want to show you one of those. The quick release we use is the Vivo adapter. And wow, these have been out of stock and now they're back in stock. But that Vivo adapter, if you can't find that, two-piece with the metal tab, that's my favorite. The other option, which looks exactly like it, and that is the Tether Tools Rock Solid Visa Monitor Quick Release System. To me, it looks like exactly the same. The other mount we had looked at some time ago, like I said to reiterate, is the Ergotron. I like it, but I don't like that tab. That tab is made of plastic. I was concerned about the longevity of that. Now, we've seen two other quick release systems. So we're talking about three things. One, the monitor. Two, then you got the Visa mount, and then in between a quick release. But if you need some type of a quick release mount so that you can move your gear around a lot, this is number one, the one either from what I've shown you, the Vivo adapter, Visa quick mount, or the Tether Tools rock solid Visa monitor quick release system. Those two look to be one and the same, which means they should be interchangeable, but that's my number one favorite for a quick release. Now I've seen two other quick release mounts that have since come on the market. One by Innovative, I'll put up a link to it, and another brand that is made in Canada that looks really, really good, but I haven't had a chance to experiment with it. It works with the same type of a, uh, a wedge shape, but it's, but it's completely different. It, it looks good, but it can only be bought, as far as I can tell, from the manufacturer in Canada. But I'll, uh, I'll put a link up to that as well. So, Visa, I wanted to show you that, again, to reiterate what we had access to the monitor, because the ability to mount a monitor with a Visa mount and to be able to mount it on a stand like this, I think is phenomenal. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. We look forward to seeing you next video. We're out.